The generation of electric motors and gliding has already begun and is progressing rapidly. But our ME system is not just ease of use and breathtaking performance. Behind it is smart and thoughtful engineering that not only electrifies the way we fly, but also ensures the highest level of safety in its use. Since we started the development from scratch and wanted to develop the system ourselves, we had to think of all the hurdles and solutions that arise in the process. To shed some light on our security measures, we would like to give you an insight into our safety concept. Because every new technology also brings its challenges. This is behind the curtain, the ME safety concept. Our ME system is equipped with state-of-the-art fire prevention and containment procedures. The heart of the system is the battery management system, developed in collaboration with our partners, who are experts in this field. This allowed us to develop a system that meets our requirements and provides the highest level of safety for long-term operation. But what is the role of the BMS? Our battery management system serves as an active fire protection mechanism, acting as the boss of the entire system to ensure that problems are detected and resolved early. It monitors the following parameters. Charge control, discharge control, as well as the balancing of the cell currents, thus consistently preventing the critical conditions of the battery. Another important part of our safety measures is our hardware-based independent fire alarm system. The system is not controlled by logical controllers or sensors, as it is impossible to guarantee the integrity of such controllers in the event of a thermal runaway. If the fire alarm system were controlled by such controllers, there would be no notification of the current status of the cells, as there would be no data transmission. However, our system works in a simple and reliable way by responding to short-circuit cables laid with a special coating along the front and rear row of the cells in the event of a short circuit. The most important point in a thermal runaway is to ensure the safety of the pilot and the structure of the aircraft. The melting of the coating and the short circuit on the cables indicate a fire. Position of the fire is irrelevant. Safety is always in the center of attention. Therefore, we want to present you the levels of fire safety as well as the structure of our system. The first level is the separate battery housing in the wing. It is made of lightweight fire resistant material and serves as the first barrier of fire protection. This housing is fixed in the wing and is not taken out with the batteries. The next level is the battery housing. This fire resistant composite forms the housing of the battery packs, including the cell controller and all the components inside the battery. This module is a standalone removable unit that contains everything necessary to operate and monitor the system. The cells themselves are bundled into packs and are not loose in the battery case. These packs are separated from each other by fireproof barriers. The third level includes all cells, which are located in a separate cell housing. This protective layer is of paramount importance because it shields adjacent cells from the output heat generated by a faulty cell during a thermal runaway. This casing is also made of fireproof material. The final layer of protection is provided by our cylindrical 18650 lithium ion cells themselves. The outer shell of the cell is made of fireproof steel case. These cells have several features that contribute to fire safety. Low energy content, ideal heat dissipation, self devolves and more. These features make the cells ideal for our application as they offer greater fire safety and durability compared to pouch bags. These are our four levels of protection to ensure the highest possible safety for the pilot. Because when it comes to safety, there should be no compromise. When we talk about the worst case, we mean the thermal runaway of the cell. Thermal runaway is a phenomenon where the lithium ion cell enters an uncontrollable state of cell heating. Thermal runaways are extremely rare, but can never be completely ruled out. It is always better to be on the safe side. But what happens if there is a thermal runaway? Imagine there is a short circuit in one of the cells 
turning energy into heat. The first thing that happens is that the cell bondings are melting. These bondings are made of a special material that ensures that they self-destruct in this situation. Once the cell bondings are broken, the cell loses the energy from the neighboring cells, limiting the generation of further heat and preventing the neighboring cells from being affected electrically. As we contain the fire of the cell and separate it from the other cells, we still face another problem. During thermal runaways, lithium ion cells produce toxic gases. These toxic gases must be dissipated immediately and kept as far away from the pilot as possible. For this case, our aircrafts are equipped with venting holes on the underside of the wing. These holes are normally covered, but when a gas buildup creates excess pressure in the wing, these covers are pushed open and help vent the gases on the intended location. And the pilot? The pilot safety is always given. To keep the gases out of the cockpit, or to prevent them from leaving the wing at the point outside of the ventilation holes, we have taken a combination of precautions on the pilot side. The fuselage is hermetically sealed two times, giving the gases no chance to enter the cockpit. The only indication for the pilot is the lighting up of the warning lights as well as a fire warning in the control display. Should the case occur, an immediate landing must be made, even if our safety measures ensure that the structural integrity remains intact and thus the aircraft could continue to be flown safely. We have full confidence in our system, which is why we performed and successfully passed the EASA safety verification on the real full-scale wing under their supervision. In doing so, we demonstrated that our safety measures can effectively contain thermal runaways. We are very proud of our safety measures and all tests that have confirmed the correctness of our philosophy and development. With EASA's approval and certification, our system is ready for the next adventures and leaves no doubt about safety. Experience the ease of use and impressive self-launch capability of our ME family and let us convince you. This is ME. Tomorrow from tradition.